just try I wanna be the only one to make it to the light I'll take it to the edge where I live the thousand lives And maybe I could be the one Right into the setting sun tonight Just try The magnificent Bahrain International Circuit sits majestically in the desert, situated just 30 kilometers from the capital, Manama. Welcome to the Bahrain Grand Prix, where practice is about to get underway. A lot of focus is naturally on the drivers, but it's really important for the mechanics to get everything right as well, as one little mistake could cost the team and one of their drivers the race result. These guys are so meticulous and they train and perfect everything that they do. Without question, they feel the pressure in the same way as the drivers, and they share the responsibility to ensure that the car makes it to the end of the race. Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Brett Keener here from TK Broadcasting. You bringing you the qualifying and practice for the Bahrain Grand Prix. Now, if you haven't watched the previous videos of the Australian Grand Prix, I would suggest you do so. It was a very good. Um, opening round of the formula one grand prix we got our first win for the season our first win in our career and the first win for mclaren since 2012 austin texas in the hands of lewis hamilton so right at this point now we're at the track acclimatization process of the practice session we again are only going to do track acclimatization and the qualifying pace because we know that their tire wear is absolutely god awful so just going towards the first turn here in Bahrain, you want to get the brakes nice and easy, uh, second gear into turn one. Turn two, you just want to get it nice and smooth into turn three. And then um, apply the power down towards turn four, which is a nice sharp corner, so you want to get there in about third gear. I usually take it second minute, in this case the car was working well enough to do third, a bit of a glitch in the video there. Turn 5 and 6, you just want to get the car positioned nice, hit the apex smoothly, ride that little apex there just enough, and then into turn 7, you just want to get it nice and to um, sharply turned in. So, so far, it's pretty well um, set into motion, turn 9, and then turn 10, you just want to get it nice and deep in. Uh, pun not intended there, I'm trying not to be sexual here, but uh, sometimes it just seems to come out, so... Sorry, I am fighting a bit of a cold at the moment, so uh, my voice is a little strained at the moment. So we uh, go wide there into turn 11, and then um, that compromises that. Turn 12, you just want to be nice and flat out. Um, just ease off the acceleration just a touch so you don't go wide. Turn 13, you just want to kiss the outside apex and ride down the back straight. Um, and then turn 14 and 15... Well, yeah, 2, 14, 15, I'm really not sure how that works. But um, anyway, that's the, yeah, well, I suppose you want to call that a track map around Bahrain. Pretty dodgy one, really. I could do better, but yeah, I'm just fighting a cold. But anyway, um, we skip now straight to the qualifying pace. So, um, as you, as I said, we won our race in McLaren. But the ultimate goal in, this, um, in my career is to get to Ferrari and start winning world championships. Now, I know that I can't do that in the McLaren Honda even though we won our first race here in Australia, um, I don't think we're going to be able to carry on that pace going towards the uh, rest of the season. I think we just kind of lucked out with the race because of the weather being atrocious and that all the front runners were, for some reason, pitting early before they changed the intermediate tyres. So that was a bit weird. And as well as that, um, the likes of Felipe Massa, Gutierrez and... Um, Potas all stayed out for a lot longer on their wet tyres so it ended up giving us a massive gap at the end so we were unheated but I mean it was a good, good battle at the end with the um, back markers in the, when it was coming to lap them with a few laps ago so hopefully we'll uh, we'll still qualify well here I hope and then um, be able to push our way through and try and get a good result so um, just going through the qualifying pace right now we're up on our sector um, the car felt really good through all this. Um, I did do a setup 
for this bit because the car was a little loose off um, setup and um, I think during this because I knew that I was not going to be you know I was struggling to try and stay above the delta all the time I was hoping that I could use the manor in front of me to um, uh, you know get the DRS so we go down a little bit in that bit and then we improve here because this part is always you know you try and go as flat out through here and you can see we're two tenths up on the time coming into this penultimate turn down the back straight I think we used a bit of the slipstream effect from uh, Rio Harianto now something we really weird here I think this must be a, probably an editing um, an editing glitch on my part so you can see like a second shot behind the first one so I don't know what went wrong there but anyway we did improve on the um, the qualifying time and meet the target so with that we jump straight to qualifying the cars are ready the drivers are ready we hope you're ready as qualifying is about to begin here in Bahrain this has been an exciting track in times gone by and typically it entertains the moment the lights go out turn one's always a consideration for this race it's certainly a difficult one to get right when surrounded by other cars but the race isn't won or lost there you've got to be smart get through and hope your rivals get into trouble and not you. So we're back for qualifying for the Bahrain Grand Prix. Uh, we decide to have a look at our setup which hasn't changed a bit although we do a bit of tweaking. We change the differential up, we put the camber down, lower the suspension rate and then we pretty much just go straight to it. So. From there, we will go straight to the best lap that we achieved in the qualifying session on our third lap. Um, we previously did a 124-172, uh, which was enough for 16th, even though our qualifying um, goal was 13th. So, um, it was pretty much a really touch-and-go qualifying session. We weren't really quite up there like we were in Australia, so the AI has definitely picked its game up a bit. And we improved to 14 for the 134 flat, so it's still not good enough to be where we need to be, but um, I think here, uh, we were improving on it, but I think Kimi sort of balked us a bit when he was trying to come out of pit lane, so that didn't help us too much in the point. So, um, I think at this point I decided, yeah, I can't improve on my time. I'm going to just waste my tyres doing so. So uh, so we quit, and let's see where we end up. So with that, we'll retire from session, and where did we qualify? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Okay, so we've qualified 17th. Very disappointing for us here in um, the McLaren Honda. Fernando's qualified 10th. He's out qualified us for the first time this season. We've qualified 17th. Tune in soon for the race. Uh, thanks for watching the video. Like and subscribe, and we'll see you at the Bahrain Grand Prix.